Okay guys, I am back. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Mod Podge, well I'm gonna take this apart. It easily comes out. I'm gonna take this out, put it to the side, and then I'm going to um, Mod Podge the inside and outside of this because I want the um, white to match especially on the edges here and this bottom portion that the paper probably won't cover. Even get this inside part. And I've also decided to use um, Prima's um, 6x6 paper stack, um, botanical, I think it's botanical garden maybe or just botanical something, botanica, I don't know. Anyway, um, I decided to use this paper as um, this kind of pinky color really goes with the last color that I used. And you know, it has, you know, the sage and the yellowish look to it too. So I figured that this would go pretty well. Okay, I'm going to cover that up. There's not going to go on there. Oops. See what happens. I'm messing around. Okay, I'm going to move this out of my way so that it dries. Keep it standing up straight so that it doesn't stick to my table. I'm going to just kind of blow this around here real quick. Okay, so then I'm going to gesso it and I'm going to wipe off this. Well, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try to wipe off as much yellow as I possibly can, although it really doesn't matter since I'll be doing a couple layers on here anyway. But um, I want to go ahead and get this white. I don't know if you can find a white magnifying glass, you know, then you're even better or gold would be real pretty um you know i just got this cheapy one um sometimes if you go uh, to antique stores you can probably find you know a brass one that um all you have to do is use the um sulfur on it and um it'll turn green And in case this does not do what I want to do, let me move this out of the way. Um, I can always um, use my, um, not decoupage, I don't know what I'm thinking of right now, but um, my texture. I can definitely use, you know, I really need to buy a white, well, I have a white texture, but it's kind of a clear texture. So I suppose I could make this pink like that outside. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to lightly uh, dry this. Not too heavy because you know it's plastic and it'll stink. I'm just tapping this Mod Podge on here. 
What are you spraying? Hopefully it's just water. Mm -hmm. Stop. Okay, sorry. My children often distract me. <laughs> okay. Yep, I might end up having to use my my medium on it. Okay, so I am going to um, let that dry for a second. Um, put my brush in the water. Wipe my fingers off real quick, and um, then I'm going to measure my paper and see what length this needs to be. It's um, about a half an inch, so that's perfect. Or no? Yeah, half an inch. So I'm gonna come over here and score it. wipe this up real quick. I made a big old mess. sure if I'm going to Mod Podge this and it will work or let me take off my little mark that I made there. Okay, so I know I need kind of like a little roundish part. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do like a half dome. 
shape. Just kind of wing it. I have no idea if that's going to work, but we'll try. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, if you're concerned about going over this paper, um, then you'll want to make sure that all of this is white and or the color that you want it here um, and in the middle before you start, um, you know, mod podging it or whatever you're going to do so um, that your paint doesn't go over it. But I don't mind um, if it, you know, at this point because I want that old world style. I'm not worried if it, if it looks a little cray cray. Uh, get it on in there this is cool I'm loving this already guys I'm really liking this project so glad I thought of it honestly I can tell you I never really seen this before so if somebody else has done this I'm sorry I'm not trying to like bust it on your bust on in your rhyme okay I'm just saying I, I've never seen it done before so um but I'm sure I'm not the only person that has ever done this in the world. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm going to do my little dome. I'm going to try to do this where you can see it. Okay, and I'm going to come up over here. And I'll hold it down pretty tight because it's going to get an air pocket. And my podge over this. Oh, this is turning out so pretty, guys. I am like super, super duper enthused. I'm like really liking this. Saw so maybe this can be a new wood product. Just saying. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like so far. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm very bad with um, aiming it correctly in the camera. I'm loving it. Okay, this is going to be the tricky part. See inside here, there's this little... Um, you know line obviously where you're gonna have to um, uh, either a do you know four different strips or and what I mean by that is of course obviously it would be one two you know three four um, which is probably what I'm gonna do because I don't I want to totally make sure that I don't go in the hole let me cover up my Mod Podge again real quick Nasty. This has got to be one of my messier projects for reals. Seriously, seriously, so messy. But this is like one of my, uh, I guess you would say, the most fun <laughs> for me. Um. So, what I'm going to do. I don't trust myself doing it exactly in the middle. Move this out of the way. And I'm going to use my special bub here. My Martha Stewart thing. And I'm going to put it in the middle at a quarter of an inch. That should be bright. As long as my paper does not move. And it's wanting to, so try to hold it down. Fold it in half just to make sure, and it looks pretty damn good to me. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. In fact, I'm going to cut this off just because it looks hideous. 
No, not really. I'm just saying that, but you know, hey. Okay. Again, and a quarter of an inch. And again, this is for this particular glass. Um, you know, looking glass. Shall I call it magnifying glass? Yeah, stay still. Okay. And put it down the middle. I'm done getting ready. Awesome. This Great is job. my big pile. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I picked a lot of extra shirts. Okay. I'm doing a tutorial, Mia. Hi. Can I have to chit chat later? Okay. Okay. this why am i cutting that out okay i'm sorry cray cray i'm losing my mind okay so here we are again i'm gonna go ahead and cut this watch your fingers i'm going real slow because it's wanting to move around and i don't want this screwed up okay What? I did that twice? I guess I did. Okay. Yeah, it's wanting to move. There you go. Use that many fingers. And maybe it'll stay. Okay. This time I don't have to worry about the other thing. So, I'm going to get out my Mod Podge. sure not to cover the middle space where the it would be glass but this is plastic what do you expect for 97 cents guys <laughs> not miracles this might be a really good idea for a swap I think I would love to see what other people can do. I had several ideas rolling around in my head till I came up with this one. Okay, sorry, my hands are a little bit shaky. Okay, hold on. Let me put that down. It moved on me, so be real careful that it stays in its spot. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is turning out so cute, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I know I'm such a freak, right? I'll stop. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and move kind of quickly. Well, I'm going to try to anyway. Only because um, I don't want this stuff to glue, I mean to dry in the center. I'm going to have to dig it out with my little nifty nail thing.
Okay. Sorry, I thought my thing was about to die. I heard this little chime, so. Oops. Might help if I go the right way, right? Okay, so I'm gonna start from the other end again. Move this out of the way. And hopefully you've been able to see this the whole time. I don't know. Ah, my fingers are sticking to Okay, hold on. Use some more Mod Podge. You want me to take you a haircut? No. You are not cutting me as hair. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just heard my son say he wanted to get my daughter a haircut, and I was like, oh no. We don't do that. Okay, so I'm gonna um, run along here, and there's some air bubbles in here, so I'm gonna try to chase them out. Get it a little bit wet. Get those babies out of there. Or it's too late. Okay, again, we're gonna do it on this side too. Okay. Okay, sorry, my fingers are sticking again. Okie dokie. So, now I'm going to go ahead. I don't think I'm going to be mod podging anything. Okay, guys. I'm back. All right. Oops. Well, let me grab my tape real quick. So I kind of grabbed some stuff together that I was going to use, um, but again, I'm using another sheet um, from the uh, Botanical Prima Collection, and um, I'm going to actually put these two, take these two pieces together. I want to make sure they're lined up right, so they look like it. together hot glue okay and um, I'm not really worried that it's going over a little bit for one you're not going to see it on this side and this side I'm thinking about either doing pearls around it or I'm going to do ribbon um, I haven't exactly decided but um, it should be pretty even for that portion of it anyway okay so um, let me go ahead and I'm going to distress this a little bit with some um, gesso. And I'm actually going to add this into it. Um, I can't remember, but I think this is a Tim Holtz thing. Um, either that or it's seven gypsies, but I don't exactly remember, but anyway, so I might, um, I think I'll Mod Podge this one on and, uh, dry my brush off a little bit because I don't want it to be wet. Bless you, Aiden. Okay. How did I set a new personal record today? I started with a test run. Then I got a solid night's rest. 
must make great room. And before I hit the road, I hit the breakfast bar where I got my fuel for the next 26 miles. And I actually didn't use like a die cut or anything. I just traced around it and cut it. That's why it's not even. Um, I can't seem to find where my little um, round cutter is, so I'm just going to do this for now. Um, I'll distress it after I do all this stuff. I mean, um, yeah, do the distressing. I'm not making any sense. Okay, so I'm just going to go real lightly and kind of like these random directions. What is this? This is the Mod Podge. I still want the bird to show through, so I'm kind of not going like too crazy on that one. Just, I think it looks crazy because I had, um, this out of the way okay then I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna use my dimensional effects and I'm going to put a little spatula here it is okay Turn a little bit like off the chain right now okay <laughs> sorry guys okay so I'm going to mix it with some of this. Um, this is the Touch of Pink. So I'm going to mix it with a little bit of that. And um, this is Saw Crafters um, 6x6 Honeycomb Stencil. And this is like one of my most ultimate favorite stencils. I love the honeycomb. Okay, so I'm going to kind of um, put this at an angle. And then just basically push it down in there. can't do it too hard because if you do it will smear and it won't look right so I'm gonna lift it and that's gonna look something like that love it okay and in the meantime I'm gonna take my leftover well Wipe this off real fast. It's very simple. You are a happy person by nature, and I am not. Okay, look. You are here, and I am here. When my father was out Okay, so on my little looking glass. I have these edges that I do not want to be um, seeing the, the um, black underneath. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and Okay, so just ignore my kids. Okay, so basically, I'm just kind of like patting this to kind of give it that textured um, look. Sure. 
forget no, I'm, I'm sure. Really? Because your neck is starting to perspire. I'm not angry. Leave me alone. I said, leave me alone. Hey, Mr. Mazier told us to clean the erasers. That's all I'm doing. Cleaning the erasers. Cleaning the erasers. Cut it out. What's the matter, Heffernan? You're afraid someone's smaller than you? You can kick my ass if you want to sense chicken. I don't want any trouble. I want to go around here and go do some of this area here real quick. I might even put like a few more like little distress marks of this along here. Okay, then I'm going to clean this off pretty much right away or it's going to dry on here. I don't want my favorite spatula to be ruined. Then I'm going to clean this up. Get it out of the way. Okay, I'm gonna let y'all know I'm not really a jewelry maker, but I kind of made this little um, thingamajiggy right here. Um, basically, um, I used a, um, I don't know what you want to call it. Oh, uh, I can get the name. Hold on. I don't know what they're called. Um, it's a, a two inch eye pen, and I did cut off some of it. And so basically what I did, it was already looped at the end. So I opened the loop up a little bit and added this little, um, um, I don't know, I'm having a brain for a Florida Lee. And then um, these two little things that came off, um, some uh, pearl type finding or whatever um, necklace that um, I had purchased to basically use for these. <laughs> and... Um, and then when I cut it, I basically made it a little bit longer and then I looped it over. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna glue gun it into the bottom of the uh, the uh, looking glass or magnifying glass, however you wanna pronounce it. Okay. I'm go ahead and get my heat gun going. I want to, I forgot to close that up. I want to get this dry. And this dry. And I'm really not as concerned about right here either because I'm going to wrap um, a ribbon around it. Or several probably. this to the side too for a second clear this off a tad bit for you or move it out of the way cover up my mosh podge here and then um i'm gonna take this and i actually wanted to um you know kind of distress it a little bit more with the 
gesso. It's just too um, bright for me or something. Something about it. I don't know what it is, but. Bottom of it. There we go. That's much better. It was just like way too powerful. Like the color was like really crazy. So here we go. So that'll only take a minute to dry. In fact, I can probably even. What I was thinking about doing was like using the glue gun to glue this in. So, probably what I'll do, I'll go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna go ahead and just basically stick the glue in the hole. And then, push it down and hold it. In the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm going to take my little poker. Oops. I want this to stick, but... Well, it looks pretty cute. So, in the meantime, I'll just kind of let that get all dry. It's still wet in there too from oops, from all the layers, and I'm getting paint on the pearls. My bad. I'm trying to wipe that off. Okay, so in the meantime, I have no idea if I'm going to ruin this or not, but I have this, um, it's supposed to be some sort of shimmer, but I just don't believe it. This recollection shimmer stuff made its way in on clearance. Let's see what happens. much uh let's see i want to 
It's like add some green in there. I guess there's enough from the other side. Okay, so then it goes just a little bit more. Maybe in the meantime, while this is drying, I can get my glass in here. Maybe not. Gotta dry that too. and I just cleaned it. Thanks a lot. Sorry, my daughter just touched the glass. <laughs> okay, or the plastic, whatever. Um, can you get me some more of the Windex and the, and the pick towels over there? Yeah, I want it clean. I want it really clean on the inside and of course um, the outside too. You know, you want to protect it, but um, Since I'm going to be using it as a kind of like a shadow box, um, I definitely, any day now, sorry, I definitely want it to, um, you know, stand out. Let me see what I can um, edge this with. Should I edge it with the blue? Should I edge it with a green? See. You know what? I might just try my old favorite and see what happens. Try to be real careful when I'm coming around the edges.